G'day guys, Gareth from Wall of Sound here again. Uh, tonight we're in the deepest, darkest depths of Christ knows where, and um, it's actually matchless in Malaga, so there's a plug for the guys. Am I going to get paid for that? Well, yeah. we probably we'll talk to Lee. We'll talk to Lee. Free jam. Yeah, we'll <laughs> sort him out. <laughs> sort him out. I'm here with um, Perth Metal Royalty, even though they're not quite metal enough. Um, nine foot super soldier. Extremely talented. Nine foot super soldier. Is, is that what it? Yeah. Talent based. Talent based. So I've got um, Paul, Drew, Smitty, and Wilson. We're all here. Here are the guys. G'day guys. How are you? Real good. Good, Real mate. good. good mate. So big things coming up. Mm. You're. I'm going to kick off straight away. You've got an album to plug. We do. Is there a picture of the album anywhere? Is there an actual album? Anywhere? Um, insert graphic here. Or, <laughs> or uh, oh look, here's one we prepared earlier. <laughs> and this is that party bomb. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? It does. It does. Like lovely thrash purple. Um, very good. Yes. Artwork by the very talented Thrash Wolf. Shout out to Thrash Wolf. Thanks again for knocking it out of the park. There's two sides. <laughs> <laughs> So that was see, it was my story next question. Out. Yeah. That was yeah, my yeah. next question. How many sides? And you've just <laughs> yeah. run ahead, yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> So there we go. Mm. So party violence. This is your first um, full length. Yeah. Yes, right? yes, it is. Yep. This follows up on the um, humorously titled. Um, I'm going to get it wrong. Cheap beer and two dollar thongs. No, no, that's, that's, it. It. Oh. that's it. You mean this? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just got back there. Oh, oh mate, you don't want to know. As opposed to the dildo song. Yeah, it's uh, it no, is, no, not one there. It is, it is still available. That's not so. That's on cassette. It is on cassette. Yes, we're working our way through um, the the various mediums of yesteryear. Mm. Um, the next EP will be on an eight track. Nice, mm. nice. So <laughs> stay tuned for your rock. Present. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the EP. Where did the idea for cassette come from? <clears throat> Monetary based? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very Tapes are cheap. very cheap. And you know, like, the thing is, no one really consumes physical media anymore. No. Everyone hates CDs. No yes. one wants a CD. They're coasters. They're just a burden. And you know, yeah. tape's kind of cool. They look good on your mantelpiece, you know? And you know, you get a download code with it as well. So you do get a download yeah. code. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you can just, put it on your on your iPhone. It's just whatever. more to have a physical product along with the download code that you're gonna get with it. A token, yeah. a souvenir. Yeah, it's nice. Um, Nine foot super soldier, the the no, I, love, I fucking love the name. Yeah, thank you. Um, and and I was I was thinking about it, you know, coming up with a name for anything, whether it's a band or whatever. It's usually a fairly creative process, and it gets all a bit mystical. Where the hell did nine foot super soldier come from? It sounds wow. like you should yeah. be a Marvel character. <laughs> that's that's a point. Oh, yeah. no, there's so, some truth to it. Yeah. <laughs> like anything, there's a bit of truth. Well, around the time we started in this band, this photo came out on the internet. Of a, a picture of a North Korean, uh, like a you know march for Kim Jong Un or whoever yeah. the fuck his name is, you know. So in the picture, there was a bloke at the back who, when you zoomed in, appeared to be nine foot tall. So then all these these conspiracy theories came out that I just became obsessed with about how North Korea, even though they can't feed their people, have this crazy <laughs> genetic engineering program that they're making nine foot soup soldiers. He wasn't big; he was lanky. It was a yeah. horrible, but. I got obsessed with that uh, around the time I was naming the band. I was like, that's pretty creative, I thought. So we went with it. Yeah. Ch checked metal archives. Wasn't taken. Wasn't a surprise. <laughs> <That's> a <piece laughs> of surprise. I always go there first, yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's, it's, it's obviously working for you. And you've got a... You've obviously got a look. Um, there's a certain look with the... You know, there's not many metal bands wearing um, Hawaiian shirts. Mm. Oh, oh, did, yeah, oh, my okay. business shirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This, this, this is what we'll comes straight from work. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. There is stage costumes, but these aren't it. This is just. Oh, were we supposed to wear our stage attire? Yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Yeah, no, this you is just how we dress. You were having to do that. <clears throat> so, Smitty, you're obviously professional wrestler from the 80s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's true. I'm, it's a... I'm actually, I'm, I'm a valet, I'm a manager. I'm, right. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I just, the mouthpiece. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. the mouthpiece. So I distract the referee, you know, make sure the talent gets over. So. <laughs> Back to the album. Mm. <laughs> I was hoping it'd go this way, actually. So <laughs> sure. um, is the album out or are we... I know there's the vinyl launch. Is that the actual album yeah. launch? Yeah. 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 Okay, so day. that's um, August 24th at Hornography. Yes. Right. In uh, at the Boston. Correct. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. is known for cheap beers. Yes. I yes, know, it is. I've um, never seen any thongs there, but. Um, oh, BYO thongs. Yeah. BYO thongs. Yeah. 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 I don't know if they 
they let you in the tongs. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I, well, I, wear, I, I wear mine every time. Um, yeah. You can't see it because I hitch my pants up. Like <laughs> yeah, no. Rest assured, I am wearing a thong. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they have, they have King Browns of, uh, of Melbourne Bitter and uh, and uh, EB. That? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and Swanee D. Liquid so Liquid nothing better than walk around a venue with a King Brown. No, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's quite the experience. That says I have arrived. <laughs> uh, and, I'm, and I'm here to party. Yes. <laughs> so. yes. Uh, but yeah, also, yeah, Tempest Rising, Unravel, Jamie Kay's Necromancer. It's, uh, it's a smorgasbord of, uh, of metal talent. Um, it's the sizzler of, uh, of the Perth metal scene pornography, so come and uh, fill your plates. The sizzler, <laughs> So you, got, you guys will have um, copies of the album mm -hmm. um, to yes. sell, so people can buy. Yes. And they'll get, a, obviously, a massive discount um, when they buy it from the gig. Um, sure, by discount if you mean uh, love and affection from us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Discount. Uh, no, we are talking about putting together a special package um, that will have the album the EP, the shirt, the download code, and a hug from a member of a Nine Foot Super oh. Soldier um, for uh, a pineapple. So that's a really yeah. good deal. That's mm. a pretty good deal. Yeah, or $50. Either yeah. either. Um, either, so. either either. Well, so. So it's easy to get 50 in your pocket than pineapple, so, you know, take, take the money. <laughs> <laughs> take the money. Um, you, um, you won an award in 2015 um, by a good friend of mine, Guy Bell, who gave you... Um, I've made guys since I was a kid. Thrash world. Um, not, yeah, everyone has. Nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice guy, Guy Bell. Yeah, yes. he's a lovely guy. He, he guy. gave you the, the best best banter award. Oh, yeah. And you love a bit of banter between songs. Yeah. So, and it made me think, and I was watching, watching um, a couple of your gigs, and I'm thinking, sometimes the... The intro to the song is longer than the song itself. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 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 And that's that's fine. You're okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. We'd, <laughs> we'd rather write three minutes of banter than an actual song. An actual yeah. Yeah. So. When, when we've got 15 minutes worth of music, we ask for a half hour set. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I think uh, at the beginning it was, you know, necessity is the mother of invention because we had so such little yeah. material, actual yeah. material, yeah. Um, there needed to be banter to, to, to fill it out and yeah. uh, and that's just sort of evolved and from there. We yeah. used to run over time on five minutes worth yeah. of music. Yeah. <laughs> so. we, we ruined grotesque album boards. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. Because some, some bands, you know, when they're starting out, they haven't got a lot of material, will literally play, you know, the set again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel that no, that's, that's a dumb idea. That is a dumb idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah, if they hated that song first time uh, around, they're going to hate it. As you know, <laughs> those, <laughs> those well. seventeen second songs, they're memorable. Yeah, they're <laughs> people <laughs> notice when you play them twice. Yeah. <laughs> it, and um, is I mean, all jokes aside, and I don't think I could put any jokes aside. Um, you really do one and two minute songs. Yeah. 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 Oh, um, two minutes is a bit of a stretch. Two minutes is yeah, probably two a stretch. Minutes. Oh, okay. We've got well, one two minute song. Yeah. 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 That's like, that's your rhyming. That's the end. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're not Rush. We're not Genesis. But, yeah. um, you know, we do have the odd epic. <laughs> well, how, 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 long, how long pit happens? That's like two minutes and ten two seconds. Two minutes, two minutes. So yeah. That's yeah. our yeah. That's a big one. I'll tell you what, it feels like four. Yeah, I was going to say, do you start that song and say, fuck? I hope I don't die in the middle of it. Pretty much. Yeah. When we learned yeah. that, we swore we're never going to write an actual song again. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's too hard. Too I don't hard, know how real long. bands do it. Yeah. <laughs> Writing songs? <laughs> yeah, the yeah. whole music and the lyrics yeah. and everything? Ah. Too no, hard. thank you. No, thank you. It's too hard. Mm. It's, it's too hard. I think there's this. this um, so, on the album, you've got how many songs? 17? 16? 16? Okay. Yeah, oh, 16. Yeah, 16. 16. It's definitely 16. not 17. No, there's 16. No, songs. the 17th is the bonus track for Japan, right? <laughs> what? No. Well, no. Bonus what? Uh, no. We, we, we don't do well in Japan. Uh, no. Yeah, no, there's yes, 16 songs, uh, all of them quality. Yeah. Uh, I personally vetted them myself, and uh, can yeah, guarantee <laughs> uh, they are good. So who is who does write most of the the music, or is it as kind of a collaboration? It hurts, but <laughs> Yeah, no, like, look, the, the process for us is usually I'll put it down at home, bring it into the jam room, and then, uh, you know, I'll usually have a lyric idea for the song before we start, and then we just kind of yeah. throw stuff off yeah. each other. You know, our lyrics don't take... And also write that. Yeah, and also write the song at the same time. <laughs> our lyrics don't take much to kind of put together. It's all real-life experiences, so... Shredding, yeah. shredding is USB stands out for me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there going, yes! Every, I mean, there's a song that everyone goes... Yeah. Why does that work? It's it's relatable. Like 
you know, all these power metal bands that talk about like riding a, a gallant steed into battle, swords blazing. I mean, can't nerds relate. can sit there and, and masturbate over that, but <laughs> that's you can't really relate to it. What you can relate to is the frustration of trying to insert oh. a USB. Stubbing your toe on coffee tables. Exactly. Yes. These, these are real life experiences. Having that first shot of espresso in the morning and then finding yourself in a traffic jam and, and in a bit of trouble. Yeah. As you're touching cloth. You know, <laughs> these. We, we hold a mirror up to society. Yeah. You it's do. not always pretty, but it's true. <laughs> no, well, sometimes, you know, sometimes people need to see reality. Mm -hmm. So, and if, <laughs> um, I'm going to wrap it up in a sec because you guys need to practice. Not much. <laughs> Ooh, no, yeah, yeah, not wrong. That's, that's oh, a good oh, doing. I should wrap it up right now. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> cutting journalism right there. <laughs> 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 In other news, no. the sky is blue, yeah. water is wet, <laughs> no. and no one would need to rehearse. <laughs> so, Party Violence is being released mm -hmm. it is. on the 24th of August correct? at the Boston yes. Pornography. First, uh, first anniversary of Pornography. Yes, so that's... So, you know, so it, we sh it's should be a good turnout. Yeah, I believe so. And uh, Tempest Rising doing thing, uh, second last gig for Unravel. And um, what was the, the other band? Uh, Jamie Kay's Necromancer. Jamie Kay's oh, Necromancer. There we go. So, so that. You, you guys should be doing PR for all of this. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, we, are, we are bringing the crowd. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so get get down to the, uh, the word is get down to the Boston. Check out um, Nine Foot Super Soldier and Party Violence. And, August 24th. Um, August 24th. Yes. Mm. Thanks, guys. Thank you. No Thank worries. You. Thank you. Right. Rock on. Cheers. Oh, mate. Any chance I can grab another one of those darts off you?